Hello, this is Clemmy Games, and welcome to episode 7 of My Gaming History, the series where you can learn more about me and the games that have shaped my preferences and perspective with regards to gaming today. In this episode, we will be looking at Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo, a tile matching game akin to Tetris, but with an added layer of strategic depth. I wanted to share something a little different in this episode, as my main memory of playing this was actually in arcades, which the game was released on in 1996. In Puzzle Fighter, the main gameplay revolves around rotating and placing two gem blocks on the playing field. There are four colours of gems, with the individual blocks merging to form larger gem squares or rectangles whenever a sufficient number of the same coloured gems are placed together. Crash gems allow you to blow up the gems on your screen, which resulted in counter gems being dropped on the enemy's playing field. A round is lost whenever the entry point of new gems is blocked. First of all, what attracted me to the game was its visual design. It was colourful, and the chibi versions of recognisable Street Fighter characters was also a plus. In particular, I like how Ken and Chun-Li looked in this game. The other half of the main roster consisted of characters from Capcom's other popular fighting game series, Darksiders, and Puzzle Fighter actually introduced me to characters like Morrigan and Felicia. On top of the main 8 characters, secret playable characters are also in the game, which you can select using good old fashioned cheat codes. I also enjoyed how chaining up huge combos or blowing up a significant amount of gems actually resulted in your character performing moves that you would see in a fighting game without actually having to input these commands. To further elaborate on the strategic layer, each individual character has their own unique attack pattern and learning these contributed to your strategy in placing and accumulating gems of a certain colour in order to maximise the effectiveness of your attack. Top that off with attempts to chain combos together and you get a game which actually does stimulate your brain to a certain extent. On top of the arcade mode, playing competitively against another player is also tons of fun. The counter gems system with ticking timers can result in wild swings in momentum as your attack can quickly turn into your demise if an enemy gets an opportunity to counter attack. It is the back and forth nature that resulted in me spending quite a sum of my pocket money on this game back in the day. Finally, I would really recommend checking this game out for yourself, or even better, grab a friend and play versus mode. The game does hold up, and I am sure that anyone with even a little bit of a competitive spirit in them will enjoy Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. Anyway, that will do it for this video, thank you all for watching, do stay tuned for the next episode for another game from my past. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Leave a comment if you would like to share your experience with the game. Thanks again and I will see you in the next video.